Hello, I am Minecraft Phenom 08, and this is episode 11 of my Automate Everything series for Modded Minecraft 1.16. In today's episode, I will be automating the production of Pneumaticraft plastic sheets from the mod Pneumaticraft. So let's get started. So in this, we will need a few different mods. First, we, we will need Pneumaticraft, and we will need Thermal Expansion, or the Thermal series of mods. And then you will also need a mod that is capable of moving items and liquids. And for today, I'm going to be using Mechanism uh, Ultimate uh, Pipes. So the first thing that we'll need is some coal. So I have an export bus set up right here to export coal into this inventory right here. And so this is an inventory full of coal. So the next thing we will need to make the plastic sheets, let's actually take a look at the recipe. So we will need to make molten plastic. And to get molten plastic, we need a thermo pneumatic processing plant and LPG. Now, LPG is something I have automated. Uh, I can't remember if it was the last episode or one of the last few episodes. But anyways, we have a tank of LPG right here, and that's what we're going to be using. So we have this uh, thermo, uh, thermo pneumatic processing plant, and we need to give it a few things. Obviously, we need to get the liquid in, so let's get the ultimate mechanical pipe. Let's set that up and we need to set that up to be extract from here and because this pipe holds so much actually holds more more than the uh, ultimate tank itself. So we have LPG in here and we need to give it pressure or we need yeah we need to give it pressure and we need to give it heat. So to give it heat we're going to be using vortex tubes so let's go ahead and throw down a couple of vortex tubes. Uh, one right there and then another right here and we need to use a wrench to set this to the hot side oh. and actually if i remember right i only used one vortex tube here um, and that is actually more than enough so this will provide heat let's throw a heat sink on the other end to increase its efficiency and let's go ahead and uh, give this thing pressure so let's throw down a few air compressors here and I'm going to, let's do three for right now. That's probably a little overkill, but um, these will give it pressure and we can actually set up uh, an air compressor over here as well because we do need to give pressure to the vortex tube for it to function. So uh, one thing I didn't mention a little bit ago is we actually need coal as well. So we need coal, we need heat, and we need pressure, and we need LPG. So those are all of the inputs. And uh, we can actually power these air compressors with coal as well. So that's uh, it's kind of super useful to have coal. So let's go ahead and hook this up to all of these different inventories here through some uh, piping. Once again, using the mechanism piping here. And we can run that over like so. I do want to uh, configure this not to be connected here. I don't want... Um, I don't think that tank can accept items, but just in case it can, I don't want that to happen. So I just set that up to extract and it, all of the machines should be getting coal now. So we should get coal over there. And okay, so the heat is going up very slowly. I believe it needs to be greater than 100 degrees for this to function and the pressure is also going up. So when that pressure goes up, eventually we will get some molten plastic here, and we want that molten plastic to go into a fluid encapsulator. So we want to put this fluid encapsulator right here, and let me shuffle my inventory real fast. We also need to get that molten plastic out into this fluid encapsulator. So I'm going to put down some more of the ultimate mechanical pipe here, and we need to configure this to be the extract point. Okay, so let's... Okay, so we should get be getting some molten plastic pretty soon. And so we have molten plastic in here. Now we need to take that molten plastic and throw it into buckets. Now there is a way to make plastic without uh, the automation method here, but it's kind of, uh, it takes a little bit of time. Basically you just put plastic in the overworld and it hardens into these plastic sheets here, but it's much easier to automate. Uh, that way you don't have to do that yourself. We can do that with a fluid encapsulator and a modular storage unit. Now, this modular storage unit can be any type of inventory that can accept items, uh, such as a chest would work perfectly fine. And so the buckets of molten plastic come into this inventory. And what we're going to do is we are going to add a heat frame to this. Now, this is a really cool block that um, basically goes around an inventory. Sorry about that. And 
uh, basically now I can provide e either heat or uh, I can take the heat away from the block to make it cold. So I'm going to put on a couple of vortex tubes here because I do want to make it cold. Uh, and by making it cold, I will make these plastic sheets here. And if you actually go to right here in JEI, and it's basically put the input material in an inventory with a heat frame attached and chill the heat frame below zero degrees Celsius. So that's what we're going to be doing. And we need to uh, hook this up to pressure or hook these up to pressure. So I am going to add a few more air compressors here. I'm going to add one here. And I'm going to add one here as well. And let's go ahead and give those coal as well uh, to make this functioning. And then let's throw on some heat sinks as well to make them a little bit more efficient. If you didn't watch my video previously, if you throw on heat sinks on the opposite side of these vortex tubes here, you do make them more efficient. So if we take a look in here, we should be getting some plastic. And the buckets of molten plastic, uh, you get your buckets back and you get plastic. So the last step of this procedure, and actually I did not, uh, I need to clean this piping up a little bit because uh, I need to run a little bit of plumbing right here. Uh, basically this logistical transporter, I'm going to have it reinsert the buckets back into the fluid encapsulator and so the process can repeat uh, basically infinitely. Now the mechanism pipes are smart enough that they will not pull out buckets of plastic because the buckets of plastic will not be accepted by the fluid encapsulator. So that is good. We don't have to filter this or anything. It just should work. So basically you can see that we are getting plastic sheets here. And if you wanted to attach this to an applied energistic system, all you would have to do is hook up an import bus right here and tell that import bus to import just the plastic sheets and it would work fantastically. But that is how you automate the production of plastic sheets uh, using the mods Thermal Expansion, uh, Pneumatic Craft, and uh, another mod to move items and fluids. And I'm using Mechanism for that, but you can use uh, any mod that can do uh, those two things. So yeah, hopefully you learned something today. If you did, feel free to drop a like down below. And if you like watching automation type stuff in modern Minecraft, definitely consider subscribing to my channel if you haven't already. Anyways, signing off, I am Minecraft Phenom08, and I will see you next time.